As you can see, a substantial winter weather event is still a very real possibility. Even when spring arrives, it's no picnic for meteorologists. My colleague Vanessa is laser focused on spring weather, and Vanessa, let's face it, it's still difficult to forecast as the seasons are changing. Elise, we know it can be challenging. Many prefer bright skies and mild air, but the collision of cold and warm air creates volatile weather. We're talking spring and storms. This weather is crazy. Sums up spring. One moment, birds are chirping. Bees buzzing. It's 60s and sunny. Then, seemingly within seconds, a strong cold front. The battle line drawn between warm and cold air approaches. Skies turn dark and storms rip through the region, threatening lives and property. This was the case in May of 2019. Drone Force 2 surveyed homes in Stanhope and Hopatcong ripped apart. Power poles slammed to the ground. An EF1 tornado with winds up to 110 miles per hour caused all this. And boom, boom, and I just took, took off. Gina Costanza hunkered down in the basement. What happened, bro? A tree slammed down onto Marine Master Sergeant Grigsby Cowart's truck during one of the most significant spring severe weather outbreaks in recent years. Five people died on May 15, 2018. Whoa. The worst of it hit north and due west of the city, which is often the case in early spring. Our ocean is still very cold, so the ocean plays a large part in the amount of energy that we may have for thunderstorms. Once a cold front passes, temperatures may drop by 20, 30 degrees or more. This is when farmers' stress levels spike. April of 2014 was devastating. And we had a night that dropped down below the 28 degrees uh, critical stage, and we lost 90% in about a two hour period. Stephen Decker of Rutgers University points out forecasting flash flooding can be challenging. Similar to you know, snow events in the winter, just a shift of 10 or 20 miles could have a big impact. Consider this scenario that played out on May 1st, 2014. A sluggishly moving warm front led to a deluge. In New Jersey, parts of the city end on Long Island. Getting around by canoe, simpler than by car. Whenever we, your first alert weather team, spot the chance for severe spring storms, we will alert you, sometimes as early as a week in advance. Our main objective, why we love being your local meteorologists, is to help you and your family stay safe when Mother Nature unleashes her worst.